About a year ago I met someone who um, pointed out that um, a lot of large companies were taking the issue of resource management, resource security really seriously. And what does that mean? It basically means they were looking at not throwing away their waste product or produce um, and uh, looking at, um, at the end of the life um, span of their product, not letting it be thrown away but collecting it um, because they're seeing the waste as a valuable resource. So I thought this is very interesting, it's something we've been really interested in for ages. So I thought, well, why not make a house made out entirely or as much as possible out of waste? So basically, we redesigned the house that Kevin built, and it's now called the Brighton Waste House. Um, and what we're doing there is trying to prove that not just the construction industry, which is quite wasteful, I mean, there's a well-known statistic that for every five houses built, the equivalent of one house in waste goes to landfill, but other industries as well, um, they could contribute to their waste to the construction of our house or research centre as it's going to be. So we looked into the viability of that and we found um, Kat Fletcher who helped set up Freegal which is an internet exchange for unwanted stuff with one and a half million subscribers. In Brighton and all sorts of things that go on and when we sort of wrapped up the project about a year ago last summer, um, yeah, he spoke to me about the project and about sort of the scope it had to um, just sort of be run differently and to perhaps procure the materials in a different way so we could reduce waste. So for the last six months or so we've been looking for waste and surplus material We've been redesigning the house pretty much on the hoof sometimes because we don't know what material we're going to get, so we in effect have to design around what we find. But we're not doing it on our own. Uh, I say we, that's the Faculty of Art, the University of Brighton. Um, at the moment the components are being constructed entirely by 16 to 18 year old students from City College. Every year I found out, last September every year, they build a house in their workshops, they build it up and take it down. Well, this year they're just building it up, they're not going to have to take it down because they're building our waste house. Um, and uh, the site's being managed by Mears, who did our foundation, so the Mears apprentices are, are um, helping us build the site as well. So we've got students from the Faculty of Art School of Architecture, we've got interior architects doing the interior design, um, and City College and, and Mears. We've also got school kids coming to visit the site. Every Wednesday we've got one or two visits from schools. So this idea of um, knowledge exchange and people learning from each other is really sort of taking off with this project. I think that's the thing that's exciting me the most. Of course it's taken a bit longer this time. The first house took um, six days on site. This one is going to take a year at least. But the frustrating thing with the first house in Kevin built was that not many people really knew how it was put together and it was the first of its type, the way it was built. This will be one of the first houses made out of waste material, but this time we are going to have people from the age of, we've got four or five year olds coming on site, so from four or five up to 95 getting involved with the design and the construction. And in our world of architectural design, for me, in construction is nothing like getting your hands a bit dirty to really understand how to put buildings together. And once students know that, then I think they can become better designers. Another really exciting idea is that this project's um, not temporary, it's going to be a permanent facility, but it's going to be updatable. So it's going to be used every year as a vehicle for design projects. It's also going to be used every year as a, a way of the university faculty of art connecting with other communities, academic and otherwise business, and uh, um, proper local communities beyond the boundaries of the university and that's something we're all really passionate about. So it's going to be a venue where people can come and uh, discuss and learn and partake in workshops where we're looking at issues of sustainable design. So it's going to be a busy little building and hopefully updatable and, and as, as I say sort of an inspiring building. <laughs>